Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lizzie. Sorry, I look like a hot mess. I work for Amazon. It's Prime Week, like Prime Day week, and I'm dying. So, don't mind the shit show. I'm going directly to bed after this. <laughs> I worked all night. <laughs> Alright, let's get right into it. Let's see what we got. using my the animated expression oracle. I made this a while ago just for myself. Ugh. Spite viciousness. Ow, ow. <sighs> With the karmics in this world. It's union season. They're, they're right they're the last ones in front of your union and you're both just like Pfft. I feel like this might be a karmic about a love situation or this is just a hater in general ooh matriarch this could be a mother your baby mama ex-spouse somebody beefing with your lady <laughs> Or your your baby mama, ba baby daddy, um, or your parents. This could be your parent. Um, new relationship, spouse. So you could uh, be in a new relationship with someone. You could be having a baby with someone. This could be your ex or people in the family that don't want you to be together. Just about it. Who cares, right? But I kind of feel like some of you, this is like a karmic who... <sighs> I hate bringing this shit up, but it's going to unfortunately be relevant for someone. Um, somebody trapped you with a baby here. This is like a vicious ass karmic that trapped you and is pregnant and is just being an asshole. Yeah, infatuation, sweetness, kindness, acceptance... Look, that same card I, I showed you came out. We have infatuation. This person, um, I'm going to clarify. I don't know if this is like somebody infatuated with like your person that you're with. Um, like wanting your person. Or if this is your ex infatuated with you. kind of feel like this is you infatuated with someone else maybe wanting a new family with someone else someone who's very sweet and loving um could cook for you and just like accept you for who you are and doesn't try to change you um just like equal give and take and i feel like this karmic you're annoyed because they're like stalking and lurking around this relationship being spiteful especially if this is like a baby mama and you have kids or a baby daddy and like you're trying to have a relationship this person is just like obsessed with your person like why do you like them and not me that kind of stuff ew <laughs> getting a lot of like creepy energy like they know what they order in their latte, if they drink lattes, like they know what shoe size, like this person is a fucking stalker, but for all the wrong reasons. It's like they learn stuff about them just to talk shit to their friend, like, oh my god, this person shops at, you know, I just, I don't know, they're just very catty and just stupid. I don't know how else to say. They're just, they're annoying me at this point. Why is this matriarch here? Flustered. Woo! So yeah, this is somebody either you are in a new relationship with. It's like the, the honeymoon phase is fully in swing. Um... Or you really are pregnant and you're in love. 
I just think most of you are in a new relationship. You're very into each other. Um, you could be very infatuated with each other, which is annoying, like your baby mama, baby daddy. Like, why weren't they like that with me? Or this could be your person's ex. Why is this acceptance here? I feel like this is fake acceptance. I feel like this is your karmic, like, oh, I'm so happy that you guys are together. Oh, that's great. As soon as you turn around, that's their face. Empathy. <gasps> so you're with someone um, that understands, like, okay, so for the people that got trapped with somebody, they could have been like a fan of whatever you did. They were like, oh, I'm going to get knocked up. They did. So you got knocked up with this person. You don't really want to be with this person. And you meet someone who you do want to be with. And they understand the situation. They understand you're having a baby with somebody else. And they're fucking cool with it. They know how you feel with... they. You know that... I, they see this person. Like, they just wanted to be pregnant by you. They just wanted to be a creep. I feel like your person's annoyed. Like, this person is either caught... Like, the new person you're with either called your old person out, like... You're a fucking stalker. You're creepy. You annoy the fuck out of me. Like, we're happy. You're just being a spiteful, vicious little bitch. <laughs> I don't know if they've said that to or if it's just like a conversation between you two, but <laughs> it's karmics. It's driving me fucking crazy. Like, why are you being stupid? Like, they don't want you why and I get frustrated with karmics because it's like if you loved yourself even a little bit you would not chase somebody who doesn't want you I, I don't know I would never chase you, you gotta look at me you look at me wrong once I'm like alright bye you know fuck off I queen of swords quicker than shit <laughs> Well, it's more trickier when you're in love, but I don't feel like you had a problem cutting this person out. They're fucking psycho. I just feel like you're like, oh, it's a fucking asshole again. Like, I just see, like, two people out eating dinner, and you just look, and they're, like, eating a few tables over, and they're like, oh, hi, what a coincidence. And you're like, mm hmm yeah, sure, fucking stalker. <laughs> What else do we need to know right now about the situation? Spilling the tea. Yeah, this person is like a drama shit stir. Like I said, they watch your person. Yeah, the seeker. They're obsessed with your person. Your person is very healing. I feel like they're very, yeah, Maya. Whoever you're with has definitely got that like witchy sense about them. Not in a bad way. Yeah, the butterfly. They're just healing. They're... People like them. People gravitate to them. Um, they're sweet. So this person is clearly very vicious and spiteful. And I feel like most people see them as this. They're out here playing innocent. That they're happy for this relationship. And slowly like, oh, but did you hear so-and-so had has a boyfriend? She texts. Like, just making up shit. Being spiteful to, you know. Or I, I even feel like they're saying like, she doesn't know that he comes over and sees me. I'm pregnant. We sleep together. And then none of that shit happens. And I feel like your person knows that. And they're just annoyed. Like, none of that happened, crazy pants. Like, but we do have a victory coming in. Um, and I think the victory is finding this person um, that didn't end the relationship just because someone else is pregnant. I think your person um, kind of read the room here um, or will read the room. If you're like infatuated with this person and you haven't really come forward, this could be futuristic. I am a futuristic reader. But this person isn't going to be like, well, all the sparks are here and everything's going great. But 
you know, I think there is going to be some worries about the relationship with this person at first, whether once the baby comes, if you're going to feel a certain way. Um, and any of you who don't have a baby with this person, this it's just like an ex just trying to shit all over your relationship and fake acceptance to everybody else, but they're going to sink their own ship. Like, yeah, firm boundaries. I feel like, I don't know if this is like a cat fight or a dog fight. Um, as far as male, female, I'll leave that with you. But that, that's, I feel like this is either has happened, is currently happening, or will someone, either you or your person's going to get so annoyed, like, listen, keep my fucking name out your, keep my wife's name out your mouth. <laughs> Paul Will Smith. <laughs> Make the whole crowd like, the other kind of flustered but we have resentment in reverse I do feel like whatever this firm boundary set I in a weird way feel like it's gonna snap this person um, look it's not a healthy way, but it's going to make them go away for a bit. Like, this person's going to stop being spiteful and vengeful to you. I shit you not. Don't kill the messenger. Because they're going out here to get a revenge body to get your person back. They're like, alright, this person set a boundary because this person has a better body than me. I fucking shit you not. They're thinking the only reason why you picked or your person picked you was because of body. So this person's going to be like, well, I just got to go work on myself and then they'll love me and I can come back. And so you're saying there is a chance. <laughs> that kind of slow, folks. But there's going to be a moment of dipping here where, where the resentment stops. Um, as far as this person isn't going to be so loud talking about you because they're going to be afraid uh, it's going to get back to you and there might be another public lashing. Let's talk about near future. What's going to go down here? This is crazy. Black mentality. This person, mm, it's a little bit sad, but I, I feel like they just don't feel like good enough. This The reason why this person can't let go is not because they... They think in their mind that they're in love with you, but really they just need someone to pick them first. I don't think they ever had anyone pick them first, even if you were in a relationship. I think this person always gets passed over or they always, maybe they have like an eating disorder or they're, they're just uh, lack a confident about, confidence about their looks. Um, so I think they take it personally um that you moved on either so quickly or that you moved on with someone maybe more prettier or more handsome they regret a lot of their actions i'm not saying this to excuse them or to make you feel bad but i just feel like spirits showing you the psychology behind it scared living in fear shadow work rejection blocked I think this person, um, I know you don't like to hear it, but I don't know what your relationship was with this person, but I think they were, they, regardless of what went down, because we do have regret in front of it, so they could have been the one that fucked up, cheated, whatever. I just, I feel like this person never thought you would leave them. Or maybe never thought that you just wouldn't even be friends either. Like, I don't know if this is a situation where, like, this person doesn't, like, have any family. Like, you became their family. Your family became their family. So, it's like, now they just feel like they have no one. Why is the lack mentality here? Public declaration or demonstration? Drained and exhausted in reverse. T 
to me, I just feel like they like to play the victim with this lack mentality, but this lashing they're about to get either from you or their person, it really is going to make them feel like a shit face. I think the public um, has been doing that, or um, maybe they're going to be exposed in a public way um, for something. Or they're like playing the distraught, heartbroken person in public, like walking around in their pajamas, like crying all day, like this big dramatic display of, oh my God, my heart's broken because this is over. Look what this person did to me. Like a whaler at a funeral. Like they used to pay people they used to think that the more somebody cried and the louder they got at a funeral was how much a person was loved. So the families would pay actors to sit and then be like, Oh my God, I can't believe they're gone. <laughs> Give me that job. I mean, clearly I would do a better job. I was just being sarcastic. I shit you not body image issues. This person always had a lack of confidence and it stems from youth and I think um, they accused you of cheating all the time, they accused you of doing stuff you didn't do, they picked fights, I'm going to leave you, I'm going to self-sabotage before you sabotage me. I don't know why Spirit's trying to show you the psychology but we're going to move on. I, I think it's important to letting go of your anger maybe. My nose is itching. Why is this scared living in fear? Revenge, vendetta, in reverse. I think you're going to see a softening from this person. I think maybe they're going to go away and get some help. Whether it's just like counseling or it's like drug rehab or something. There might be an apology here in the future. Of like, look, I, act, I acted like an asshat. Beyonce is jealous is playing in my head. And if you um, think about that song, it's like, don't judge me. I'm acting out because I'm jealous. You're living the life that you want. And I, I thought of this life a certain way. And I have these rules that I follow. And I wish you followed the same rules. Yeah, they just, they always lack the confidence to, to stand up to you or, or to tell you exactly how they were feeling. Um, like if you were, if you're a guy, they hated seeing you with other women. If you're a woman, they hated seeing you, with, they couldn't, they always thought someone was going to steal you from them. And they had a hot head about everything. They thought either you were, like, making fun of them, uh, something like that. They just, like, what? Why'd you say that? What do you mean? Like, <laughs> hostile all the time. Let's get some details going to see what's going on here to close out your reading. I try so hard to impress you and earn your respect. I just want to be a good person in your eyes. I feel like this is an apology letter from your karmic. <laughs> Trying to be like you. You are inspiring them to be a better person. Wow. Normally, I'm kind of impressed here, Collective. Normally, we did start off with your karmic being a shit face, but I feel like you have a karmic doing the work. I feel like... You have an apology coming, like you and your person. I'm trying to protect you. That's you protecting your karmic from this person. Sex addiction. And I think they are trying to protect you um, from the truth. They're, I don't think they're ready to tell you exactly the extent of what went down in your relationship. There's a level of embarrassment here. I think, I feel like 
you know how people work a step, like a step program? I feel like this person's going to come to you with a lot of baggage. They're going to tell you about being sex addicted, trying to impress you, all the catty shit they did. I think they're going to tell you that they pushed you away because they knew that they were bad. Like, uh, they felt like they were going to ruin your life. Grease might be important. Male. This doesn't have to be a lover. This could be like maybe a parent that gave you up for adoption. I don't know why I'm feeling that. Maybe coming in why. Um, they're wanting to be a part of your life or how you were made. Um, they could have been like a sex worker here. Grease to me, I just feel like <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting like my big fat Greek wedding vibes. Like maybe you have a big family, or and they miss like hanging out with your family. Like they felt a part of your family. Maybe they never had one before yours. Praying on my knees, forgive me, please. I shit you not. They're coming in for an apology. Mental library catalog. They're writing a list of all the things that they have to apologize and explain to you. Wow, this went left. I thought this was about your new relationship, but this is about your karmic. I think it's good, though, especially if, like, some of you have kids together. I feel like this is going to be really good with you guys becoming friends, even with, like, your person. Um, but overall, even if you guys never talk again after this there's healing all the way around I think you're going to get a lot of validation I don't think you're ever ever expected this person to like grow up like this and like own their shit I'm falling apart without them that's true they, they really are lost without you I know that's kind of painful but this is why uh, yeah <laughs> don't be hateful they're like don't they still struggle when they see you with someone else. Like, they want you to be happy now. It's not a part of revenge, but they still feel that hurt because they still are. They want to, they, they still are in love with you. They want to stop arguing. They don't like, um, I think they sit there sometimes like, why do I do that? Like, why do I keep picking at them? Why do I even do that? I think this is what they're getting help for. Like, why do I do, why do I self-sabotage? Sending out an SOS. I think they miss camaraderie. They miss, like, I just feel like an element of this person has no one. Or they just want to come in and, and have some closure here, especially if you have kids. It's like, I just want to say my piece. Like, can you hear me out? I know I don't deserve it, but, you know, this it, This is for both of us. Struggling is a part of life on earth. You've overcome time and time again. You will overcome this too. Yeah, this person never had self-confidence. I feel like they're learning to love themselves. Uh, pity party, they're going to apologize for the woe is me part of all of this. Um, you might not even want to hear this when they come to your door you might be like I don't feel fuck like I don't want to hear your explanation that might happen too um, I don't judge <laughs> I want to let my guard down and show my authentic self I think this person has always been a bit distant a bit a bit cold um, or they like hide behind humor this person is going to be completely a hundred percent authentic in a way like you are going to be meeting them for the first time if that makes sense. I'm working on my money and trying to build a stable life for myself and our future. Again, with the element of they still think that there's a possibility. Um, and for the rest of you, our future means 
your kids, not like you guys together. Um, but I think they just want to to show you that they can be counted on, that they can be reliable. Put your foot down and speak up for yourself. Um, I do think, although they have a lot of apologies, um, they want an apology for like one or two things. I think you know what those are. I've never known happiness like this. Um, they're going to express like, I couldn't, you couldn't make me happy because I wasn't happy. But let me tell you, I am learning to be so happy. And I think despite what this person has done, I think this is what you really always wanted for this person. I think the reason why you fell for this person or brought them into your life if it's not a lover is because you saw this wound, you saw this kicked soul, and maybe that's why you hung on so long. Um, hoping that they would get to this point and you know yeah they had a big ego it took losing you for that ego to die it took you winning you um, getting what you want in life for them to see that maybe they could have it too status chaser I don't feel like this is a, a negative sense I do feel like they're going to tell you that they just wanted to win, that maybe they started dating you for status or, yeah, because gold digger. Again, this person is coming in to tell you the truth. They're not here to blow smoke up your dress or your pants. Like, you might not like them as much after this. Um, I think parts of their ego is still going to pop in this because they're not going to be fully healed. They're going to like expose stuff and then I feel like maybe you're going to get into a spat and like one of you is going to be like, this is getting off target. <coughs> yeah. There's like dark energy, so just be careful of that. Um, if you do want closure with this person, sitting down with them I feel like will be overall best as long as you guide it and don't like I kind of feel like they're a little bit like a teenager like or maybe bipolar it's like they're overly happy and then they can get really mad when their ego is kicked that's a bit of narcissism too um, that isn't gonna if they are learning to not be a narcissist that's gonna be the last thing that dies I'm letting them figure out when we meet yeah they're not gonna try to push you they're gonna let you know like look I want to talk this out but I know I did a lot of fucked up shit or I know we're you're mad so when you're ready hit me up they're not gonna like come to your house and like annoy you all all the time Chasing pavement. Yeah, because they're working on themselves. They're working on their career. If they owe you money, I think they want to come in with a payment here. I'm hearing that for someone. Or they just want to, maybe if you guys have kids, they want to like have a, a stable place of their own to prove that they can do it on their own. This person uh, has a dark humor. It's not funny all the time. Um, they hide behind it. Or they use it to poke sometimes. Be leery of that in the conversation. You will achieve your goals. Be patient. This is encouragement for you. I think maybe you're a medium or this person is a medium. Uh, they might express that they have goals in the spiritual realm here. Um, or you might use your medium gift to tell them like look you're you're doing this work it it's going to lead you in the right direction you might give them a pet talk when people tell me you're going to regret that in the morning i sleep in till noon because i'm a problem solver this person's going to tell you that they were a procrastinator that you tried to warn them a million times and that you, they didn't listen i'm not over what happened i need to process this in my own time so they are going to sit down and they are going to tell you that they're not over you. Um, so maybe they can't be in your life or that's why they get so crazy. You felt real love and were happy in your life. She, 
she or he is saying that like as much as this hurt you were the real deal and I know that if I felt it once I could feel it again stay in your lane don't steer off course ignore drama and distractions that's what they're uh, I feel like you're gonna tell them this like look as long as you stay chasing your pavement you keep doing your thing like we can be cool but if you step into my relationship if you fuck with the kids or whatever like I'm done like you're drawing the last line here they did uh, i think they did cheat on you i think they did uh, they're gonna say i did do that whatever you you want to ask them they're gonna own it here i'm upset that you ignore me like i don't exist that was the hardest part despite what they did despite um everything that went down when you did um decide to leave this relationship this person is going to express like it just seemed so easy like they feel crazy for um taking it so hard when i mean i don't i'm not saying you didn't take it hard but they didn't see it so they in their mind they just feel like you moved on like that and most of the time that's not fucking true i just see like you were you were already got hurt by this person so you're not going to keep showing them what hurts you I'm so mad at myself. I ran. I depended on all the wrong things. I was blind. Now I see, and I only have me to blame for cheating, for partying, for, for wanting success and money and, and status. I feel like an asshat. But it's too late for you. I feel like it's just too late um, for any kind of love thing to come back, but you can have respect here. You can shake hands and be like, I wish you the best. And they say, I wish you the best. And you could go on with your lives and live in the same town and just be like, hey, hey, for the rest of your life and never really have a conversation. Or um, this person can prove themselves back into your family and just be a friend forever. That That's really up to you guys here. But I do, I do see that this person has changed. I wouldn't blow bullshit into the, the ether this person is going to upset you with their confessions um but recognize how many times they lied to you and, and like that's work in itself as much as as hurt as hurtful as it is they want you to have the closure this is very hard for them because they are in love. I don't understand. Maybe they had some kind of trauma why they would love something so much and then look for love elsewhere. But I feel like that's the self-sabotage of this person can't really love someone like me and I got to destroy it or it's going to destroy me. You could paint, draw, or sculpt. You sang or played an instrument. So I feel like this person um, either wants to thank you for like art that you did of them. Um, they have it. They kept it. They want you to know that. Or they, they draw, paint you, or you're a muse to them in their art world. You're with a karmic person you're not happy with. I think they're still going to claim that you're with the wrong person and that might be what is upsetting to you because I think you really do like this person um, and think they're the one. <laughs> yeah, half time. They're like, just take a break. Take things slow. It's like, they in their mind, this relationship you're in isn't going to work out. I don't know why. I'm sick of hi hiding how I'm really feeling. It just, I just want to be myself. Yeah, they, they don't want to have to hide that they're still in love with you. They want you to understand. So maybe you are trying to be friends still. And they were just trying to go along with it, but they can't. I just want sex right now. <laughs> oh dear. So that sex addiction is definitely coming in. Um, I hate to say it, but... 
I don't know if this is current or this is what they did. Like, I'm just trying to screw you out of my system. Or they miss you, so they go sleep with other people and pretend it's you. It's like some weird confessions. <laughs> hey. <laughs> You're not meant to know things ahead of time. Not this time. You must learn to go with the flow of life and stop trying to control things or the outcome. That's why they need to be on their own. They're a user. They're a manipulator. They, they need to be able to be who they are on their own two feet in a place where people know what they what they do um, so that they can't fall back into old habits. Like this person could move to a new area and manipulate new people but just stay around people who know they're, you know, that's going to change them. You made your bed, clean up your own mess. That's what you're saying. Like I need a break. You were my karmic partner. Um, you don't need to know what's going on in my relationship. I don't need to know what's going on. I'm just taking it day by day. But you, you need to do you and you need to get yourself situated. I wish you all the best. Runner, I think you're, you're, you're getting up. You're getting up out of this conversation realizing that this person in their mind is never going to give up hope that you two are going to wind up together. So this isn't someone that you can stay friends with because whether the conversation goes bad or not, you know it's just going to hurt you or that they're just going to keep propositioning you. Like, this person can be like, look, we don't have to be lovers, but we can just screw. You know, I know that person doesn't do you like I do. They're just being gross. And they could hit on you a little bit in this. Um, it's like always that element of, they're like, say the really sweet things and then they get a bit pervy. And you're like, I just told you, like, I'm with someone center stage this person needs a lot of attention they want they want everybody to think you're together save the drama for your mama yeah you're over it you're like you're so much fucking drama all the time it's the you show and i'm over it your sex is racist rude and i'm tired of it this person has a mouth especially when they drink you're worried and concerned about them and you want to rush in and make sure. Like, yeah, you're going to express, like, I only came because I know your history. I know you don't have anyone. You don't seem all right. I just want to make sure you're getting the help and support you need. Like, you're, you're making that clear that you are here as a friend. Social media watching. I think you watch them um, just to see what they're up to. Um... If this person is like an addict, you just want to make sure sometimes that they're still alive. Sadly, I've been in that spot. It's a horrible, horrible thing. Because they dip out and you don't know where they are. But most of the time, I feel like this person is watching your social media. Sometimes you have to let a love go to see if it grows stronger on its own or if it wilts and dies. So this person is going to express, I think you let me go to see if... I could be a woman or a man that could take care of themselves and I'm going to prove to you that I am. Like everything they do is to prove to you how worthy of you they are. And it's a bit creepy. I'm not going to lie. I think that's another reason why you're just like, I just don't want to deal with this. Trust the divine plan. Trust how you feel about your new person. Trust how you feel about this person. The unspoken words are the most important words said. Their actions, their face expressions. Um, are they trying to control you and keep you sitting down? Are they allowing you to, to speak and, and get up? Like, Because that's a, a narcissistic thing. But wait, I, I still need to talk to you or they touch you. It's like, no, I told you this conversation was over. Boundaries. You know what I mean? Like actions speak louder than words. I'm going to get blocked if I reach out. There's still a little bit of fear. That's why you probably haven't heard from them yet. Um, the wake up call, they might have, if they are an addict, they might have, unfortunately, a wake up call with that. Um, 
but I think the wake-up call is they're losing you as a friend too. Um, maybe they are on to the fact that you know that they were unfaithful. You never own up to your mistakes because you, in your opinion, are never wrong. This, they could add a big ego, made you feel stupid to, to even think they cheated. Or they, they want to say, hey, you cheated too. Or you cheated and you made me think I was crazy. Um, I don't know what side this is, but somebody like lied about cheating. I'm jealous of you. Yeah, this person's going to say that for sure. Communication coming in very, very soon. They're just, they're, they're trying to get over their fear monster of being rejected. Eventually, they're going to get to the point where, well, what have I got to lose? Let's just see what happens. Have a good cry. Let that pain and hurt out. It's toxic to your soul to keep it inside. That's the whole purpose of you two coming together. You have history. You need to close that chapter. You need to tell each other the truth. Forgive each other and move on or stay in each other's life. Either way, the sit down needs to happen. I don't trust your words. Let your actions show your truth. Exactly. That's exactly what you're, you're on to that. Like, I, th I think you know this person can speak the best with the best of them. Um, you have to be, you have to have your guard up with this person. I'm tired of waiting for you. I feel like moving on from this. Um, <laughs> I don't know why <laughs> after everything that's going to be said, after how many times you have to remind this person through this whole thing that you're with someone, at the end of it, they're like... I'm tired of waiting for you to be done with your little Sally or your Sethy over there. I think I'm going to have to find someone else. Like their ego just can't let them be dumped, bro, sis. <laughs> I feel like you laugh at me and it hurts. Um, sometimes they're, they're so wrapped up into you that when you post stuff on social media, they sometimes think it's a direct hit to them and you're not even thinking about them you're just like legit smiling with your person having a good time doing whatever you're doing and this person's like they're just trying to rub it in my face <laughs> nutball you know karmics do karmic shit forgive so you can free yourself from the burden that's the overall message this person is going to be who they are. You can't change them. Hear them out. Hear the truth you need to, even if it's hard. Look at how they respond and go from there. Trust your gut. You, you're a smart cookie. You'll know what to do. Either way, I do wish the best for you both. I've seen a lot of nasty fucking karmics come across my table and... I don't feel like that's a nasty person. I just feel like they're a lost person with a lot of childhood dramas like assaults, mental, physical abuse. You know, that's hard to overcome. And you're not here to save everybody. And it's okay for you to move on. But just think about if that was you and you... Like, take it as someone... I was a broken person for a long time. And I, when I faced my trauma, I went back. I mean, granted, we were all still friends. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I always flinched when you touched me and, like, freaked out. Like, and I would explain why. And they didn't know why. And when they found out why years later, they're like, oh, my God, so much about you makes sense. And that might be the relieving, oh, it wasn't me. It was just, you were... I thought it was about me this whole time when really you were just having an anxiety attack. You know what I mean? It's like communication really is key sometimes. We think we have it all figured out, but we don't. Assuming is bad. Just don't assume. Ask. Ask and you shall receive. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys so much. I'm going to write for a little bit and then i got to take a nap and get up and go to those two stores, clean my house, and go back to the shit box. Unless I win the lottery tonight. Or, wait, Tuesday. I played for Tuesday. <laughs>
I played them all. I played them all, guys. I just, I just don't want to work for anyone anymore. I just want to, I have ideas, but I don't want to say it. I have businesses I want to start. I have TV shows for Netflix I want to start. Movies, like I need the cheese to make it happen. <laughs> Manifest the lottery, please. Life with Lizzie is going to get so much better when I win the lottery. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. If I win the lottery in the next couple of days, oh my god, magic is wow! <laughs> I'm going to do it. In my lifetime, I'm going to win the lottery. I am. True story, I've been saying this since I was like 12. I have. Before I could even buy lottery tickets. I'm winning it! <laughs> I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Toodaloo, boo-boos. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Bye! <laughs>